Thank you for tuning back into Oversaturated Podcast, episode 91. Yes, sir. And we are here to talk rap today. We wanted to talk about something fun. We have had too many layered discussions in the past. We need a fun topic for 91, man. Yes, yes. But uh, rap today, uh, we just want to discuss like rappers that kind of fell from grace. A lot of, uh, like in 2020, we get a lot of prizes from rappers. It's, it's, it's evident that they can rap, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But why? why? Why are you still out here? And it's not the fact that, you know, it's one thing because rap is so funny because you think of rappers, it's kind of like athletes. Kind of like, you know, they're pat, like they had a prime. Yeah. This, this version of this, you was not seeing. <laughs> but, you know, years later, it's kind of like, eh, you know, we appreciate your 17 points, but you know, it's not, it's not what you used to give us 35, you know what I'm saying? The 35, 10 and six, you know, that the, the, same the occasional 60. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> but now nah, we got a, man, we got a list of MCs and we going to see how this pans out, but you know, we'll start at the top, the creme de la creme, mm-hmm. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Marshall Bruce Mathers, the second, I might add. Damn. Man, listen, when Eminem, first of all, Eminem has one of the greatest. Well, how do I want to say this? The first, like the first three albums, one of the greatest first three album runs, like ever in the history of hip hop. So let's start there. Now, I don't, I don't understand at, at what point we stop really fucking with Eminem because his like his ability to rap. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's got, well, I feel like it's been up and down because he got to a point where he was like too much on the drugs. Like at Mm -hmm. one point, like the drugs was really like affecting his ability to like think coherently and all that type of stuff. Um, But even so today he's sober, like, and Mm -hmm. his, his ability to rap has has probably even gotten better than what it was back, Mm -hmm. like back around the time he first debuted. Mm -hmm. And 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 thinking and thinking of why we don't really check for him like that, I think it's because the 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 t- the times are different. Like the things that he's rapping about or the way he's rapping isn't really mm-hmm. fitting with what's going mm-hmm. on in the landscape of hip hop today. Even with mm-hmm. him trying to reach out to some of the younger acts or newer acts. Yeah, um, he took too much of a break. I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know he's getting his life together, but hey, one thing we need our rappers and musicians to have is these vices. Like, we need them to have vices. Like, Eminem's was clearly his drug abuse and, you know, his trouble past. But when you get past, you know, those constructing those three albums, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, it's tough, baby. What we gonna do? And Marshall is what I'm calling him Marshall, like I'm Royce or something. Right. (laughs) But Eminem is one of those rappers that takes pride in lyricism. So, Mm -hmm. When you get your your trouble and your pain out, what are you rapping about now? What's next? Yeah, yeah. What's now? Because like one thing I can definitely say about Eminem, you know, I ain't even the biggest Eminem guy, but those three, the first three, that's what I'm I saying. Got, I got nothing to say. Like that's I have, I got nothing to say. It's just after Eminem show, it's just kind of like you know, it's hit, it's hit or miss, baby. And but you can't deny the impact of the first three. Mm-hmm. So. I, I enjoy I, I enjoy Eminem as a rapper's technically skilled, like not really scared of anybody, you know, beef, you know, all that all that great stuff. But it's just one thing about great artists when they become they start becoming insulated and they lose touch with everything around them. Like yeah. that's that's bad for business because it's happened to, you know, other greats outside of the genre. True. But you know, we'll stick to you know, we'll stick to our rappers, but mm-hmm. Eminem has definitely, I would say, lost touch with how rap goes now because one thing you got to do it's kind of like you got to spar you got to spar mm-hmm. with these guys like Royce or D12 can't be your your litmus test for what's going on in the streets because even then they're still detached they're still older guys so it's kind of like yeah and we almost and when I say almost it's an emphasis on almost mm-hmm. got a glimpse of him wanting to spar as you put it with some of these newer acts with uh mm-hmm. music to be murdered by this year yeah. like he had uh he had juice world on there he had young mm-hmm. and May on there but eminem eminem did the song 
Like in every <laughs> in every song, he went like he went nuts with the the speed. <laughs> rapping, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is cool, somebody, but like somebody called the nigga. Somebody called him Porky Pig one day. I, <laughs> I, was, I was inconsolable, bro. <laughs> I was inconsolable, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. But like we're okay. We're at a point where. Eminem, we know, we know Eminem is going to, going to destroy a microphone. We know this. We know his Clearly. ability to do Clearly. different technical types of raps. We know that. But now, <laughs> if you want to do that, if you want to do that on one or two songs on your album, cool. Do that shit on your own time. But when you got a young MA on your song, try to match her energy on the song. Because the like her verse on Music to be Murdered by was actually dope. Like I I enjoyed that song, but mm-hmm. here he comes with got- the porky pig shit. This the yeah, and the and the thing is Eminem for him to be technically skilled, he doesn't like switching his flow to like you gotta meet people where they are. Cause yes. you ima- like imagine this, right? And how, how much of a train wreck this song would be. Ross and Eminem on the song. I don't like I never I never wanna hear this. I, I, I never know how it was gonna be. <laughs> Ross never changes his flow and Eminem never changes his. So nobody's gonna meet nobody. Nobody's anywhere. gonna like, meet <laughs> so Oh my god. The thing is, I don't even know if Eminem could rap like well, I definitely know Ross can't rap like Eminem. Oh no, no, no. I'm, they but can't I, rap like each other. I was gonna like, say I don't even know if Eminem could like try to slow his verse down. Like that's crazy. Like Eminem even Twisted em, does that. Listen, like, listen to this. Eminem on a Justice League beat would be so trash. Oh <laughs> and Justice League Justice League produced nothing but, but heat. Oh, come on. <laughs> listen, imagine. Oh my God! Imagine just the smoothest Justice League shit. You know we ride, we some some shit you ride to, you ride yep. to. Yep. And here come Eminem. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. Like nobody, everybody in the studio co-signed this, huh? Like, <laughs> nobody <laughs> said, "Hey Eminem, you can't do that on here." You no, no, check. You know, slow it down just a little bit. Nobody said nothing. All right, gotcha. Fam, I, I see. It's hilarious. Speaking of somebody else that you know can rap, still rap with the best of them as far as just rapping, Lil Wayne. I think Lil Wayne hasn't lost his ability to rap. Mm-hmm. I just don't think he makes good music anymore. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Uh, his his ability to make a good song, it yeah. seems like it's not there anymore. Yeah. Um. He. I think he popularized, if that's even a word, mm-hmm. songs without hooks. Like think think about a Millie. A Millie was big. Like a Millie was huge, and it didn't really have a hook. It didn't really have a hook. I get. I, I think I get what you're saying, but I think there are probably other people before they probably did it. But but, but Amelie, when, did they make it? Did they make it hot though? Because I feel like a lot of people tried to do that after Lil Wayne. Just tried to go in and rap. Yeah. Don't don't need a without research i don't know so okay. you know you got it but <laughs> yeah but, but, I, no, but I, I, I i get that point though because like low wayne would just go yeah like, and but it would but it was dope for, for it to be a hit yeah, yeah you you know what okay i can kind of see where you were going with that point because with you to rap on a beat like that just go no hook and it'd be a hit Arguably one of Lil Wayne's biggest hits, right? Mm-hmm. On his most critically acclaimed album. Yes. Like it's 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 up there. But I think with, with Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne went through went through periods, right? Obviously you got Hot Boy Wayne, which was a a, a, a shell a shell of who Wayne is now. But you know, you're talking about somebody that's 16, you know, so and so him going through that and then, you know, maturing. And then by the time the Carter hits, I think that's when, right before the Carter is when his his prime starts to me personally. I think he started, like, with the squad mixtapes and all that stuff. When he started doing all the squad mixtapes and all that, he started putting people on notes. Like, and then the Carter came, the Carter two, you know, all that. So I'm giving him, it may not be a three-album run like Eminem, Mm -hmm. but it's a good period of window. Yeah, of where Lil Wayne was just, you know, that dude. So maybe people don't count the Carter. I do. I count the Carter. So let's just say the Carter to Carter three. Mm-hmm. That's four years. Yeah. Anything you know what, after anything after oh eight is debatable. Yeah. You know another aspect to Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. I think he went through 
similar things that child stars go through. Mm. So like, you know, when you when you're a child star, you know, you're, you're the star for the moment, you know, you're doing all your acting and in and, and Lil Wayne's case, you know, rapping, touring, doing all this stuff like you don't get a chance to be a teenager. You don't get a chance to do the shit the regular kids, teenagers and shit do. So when you get when you get to the point and in Lil Wayne's case, he's like stupid rich. Right. Yeah, so when yeah. you get to the point where you mature and you haven't done all of these adolescent things, because that's mm. when you really find yourself, learn, you know, do's and don'ts of certain situations and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like that affected him mentally. And then on mm-hmm. top of that, learning that he was in a bad contract with cash money and all that, that's even more added mental mental issues. It's like, I feel like he went through a lot at such a young age that mm-hmm. that also, also affected his ability to make music as well as he got older. Because he's trying to do the rock shit, like, he he did a lot. Like Wayne was doing a lot. He was supposed to do like a joint album with Lloyd, a yeah, joint album like, with T Pain. He did the rock album. I'm like, I would rather put the joint album with one of them before the rock album. I like two songs on the rock album, don't get me wrong. I mean, of course, Drop the World and Prom Queen, but those singles, I don't listen yeah. to nothing else. Right. But <laughs> but so but Lil Wayne was in such a space, man. And like we went to Eminem with devices. Lil Wayne. I'm a pill popping animal, syrup sipping nigga. Like I'm just, hey, look, man. What's in my cup? It's my cup. <laughs> it's my cup. Talk, talk. <laughs> right. It's my cup. My cup. <laughs> so those vices, man. But that that was Wayne. Wayne. Wayne had a four. Like I say, a four year. I mean, obviously the hit still went. You know, mm-hmm. after '08. But I think in hindsight, '08 was the pinnacle. Yeah. And then everything after that is kind of like plateau. And then. You know where we're at now. Man, I still remember that run right before the Carter Three, I think it was. He was killing everybody feature. And then he, the, he, and then Carter he, Three did that million in a day. Or you, we you know, you know how good a rapper Wayne was. We actually bought into the Light Father, Light Son album and didn't complain. We actually we we knew we came here for Lil Wayne <laughs> and Lil Wayne only. Amen. Like it, we we came here for Little Wayne and Little Wayne only, but somehow Baby Birdman finessed us. That's how that's how crazy Wayne's run was, and I feel like Baby since that, and oh. that's why and that's why we got the like Father like Son album. Like that's that's cra- that's crazy, right? I mean, it's <laughs> it really is. And let, let's let's talk about your man's. My I don't know. He, he can be my man's. He can be my man's. Kanye or Mari West, man. I That's, think he, go ahead, go ahead. That could that could be our man's. Yeah. I, yeah. Look, look, man. Now, you know how you gave Kanye, you know you gave Eminem a lot of credence for three albums. Mm-hmm. I give Kanye five. Mm. Five exceptional, five genre bending, like five albums that pretty much just changed how music is received and listened to. Like I don't think we'll ever get that. And this is fuck hip hop. Mm-hmm. Music. Yeah, gener- yeah, general. Music. Yeah. Like, I've had these revelations, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person to have them, but this is just how I'm starting. I'm convicted now. Yeah. I think my I'm, I think Kanye is on the level of like a Michael Jackson, a Stevie Wonder, a Whitney, those people. Because you got somebody that really transcends music. Tra- like, he's not even a hip hop artist. He's just Kanye. He's just yeah. Like, you know, the name Kanye is synonymous with? Like, that is insane. This this crazy fool was talking about running for president, and we actually paid attention. Like, <laughs> Fam, he got he got about 50,000 votes, like, just like, in, in the country. Like, that's crazy. Kanye is probably the biggest star out of hip-hop. Like, if you're talking about strictly the music, I don't think there's – he, he's, he's up there. Like you can go Eminem because of the you know the sales. You can go yeah. Jay Z because of the longevity. You can go Will Smith because he went rapper turned actor. But mm-hmm. he's in that comp. He's in that company, and he's probably more <laughs> like Say, I mean, like, I, saying that out loud. So I, we've had we've had some conversations about this in the past. Yeah, but like sitting here saying this out loud, I think I'm going to have to agree. You like, start drinking the Kool Aid just a little bit. It's not. I'm. Hey, I have. I have. No, I don't have anything. I'm just telling you what the track record is. Yeah. 
And then you got the Damn. production tip. Like Kanye is probably one of the most decorated artists too of all time. Yeah. You know, he has more he has more he has more Grammys than Jay Z. He has more Grammys than Beyonce. He has more Grammys than Mike. So Because it, even okay, just talking about Kanye period, even mm-hmm. just outside of hip hop, he's done so much. Style, music, like, and I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still just on the music. Like, I'm not even talking talk about nothing else. I'm talking about just <laughs> right, right. music. I'm not even talking about hip hop right now. He's produced for some of the biggest acts, and like have and has gotten Grammys off of those. Like, and then we go into the fashion, and then we go into all these other influences. It's like, damn, it's and it and and talking about this also, it it makes me, it, it hurts more because of how he, his, his fall from grace, like, yep. the most, the, the most, uh, the, 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 la- the past few years, like, yeah. seeing him go crazy, and maybe, maybe that also speaks to his genius, like, maybe he was just so successful to the point where it really fucked him up, like, it really messed with his mind, and now, for whatever reason, he's mad and shit like that, like, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, I don't know, Right yeah. now is unfortunate. Right, it's very unfortunate. But you just start thinking about those five albums, and we can sit here and debate which one's the best and all mm-hmm. this great stuff. If it aged great, but it doesn't matter. Every time he dropped, it was a moment. Yeah, it was a moment. It was a moment. Like, I mean, college dropout might have missed everybody because you know we're still trying to figure out who he is. It was fresh. Oh no, 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 no. But late registration moment. Graduation, Graduation moment. 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 Eight oh eight of heartbreaks, a moment, super moment. Oh you already know. You, I, I don't even have to mention the no. last one. I don't, cause you already know that was a fucking moment. So it's kind of like, I hate to see that. And you know, Kanye was one of those guys that we let slide on the on the writing tip. Like we, he even came, he came out of his mouth. He said, "I'm gonna stop rapping after three albums." So arguably, after graduation, he didn't write shit. You can look, you can check the credits. Saha on a lot of that. Travis produced a lot of that. Like, tra- <laughs> <laughs> listen, man. This, damn, this is crazy. I, and now it, it makes me, it makes me wonder what could have been had he not gone man. through, I guess, the mental, the mental laps that he did. Like, damn, he, he shit, he might have been on part to be like with Michael Jackson. Like, that's crazy. Like, I, I uh, yeah, like Mike, Mike clearly had, you know, Mike is Mike, and we know why Mike is Mike. Mm-hmm. We don't have to get into why we know Mike yeah. is Mike. Yeah. But Kanye is building a resume to where he is a god tier artist. And I think we we won't recognize this until for one, he snaps back into reality and becomes yeah. some old self, or unfortunately he's no longer with us. God so forbid. that's the only way we res- we'll start to respect the legacy that Kanye has laid. What and okay, at what point do you think we stopped really fucking with Kanye like that? I think I think honestly, uh well I stopped fucking with him when you started like it was before the Trump stuff, so the Trump mm-hmm. stuff didn't even like bother right. me like that. So it was somewhere after probably the life of Pablo. Like it was somewhere up in there. But like, what what was it th- like? Cause I'm trying to think back. What was it then? Cause that was that was well before the Trump stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. I think I don't think there's a definitive moment. Kanye had so many moments mm-hmm. of like lashing out to paparazzi, saying uh, you know slavery was a choice was a lot for people. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, the Trump support and doubling down on the Trump. Support. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, look, man. That's cr- man. That's so crazy. Like. This is the first time I feel like I've openly discussed Kanye in this type of depth. And mm-hmm. now just thinking about it, like it really it really makes me sad because yeah. he was on like this wild trajectory to like be when you think when you start man. thinking about the first five albums, I don't hey, I'm being respectful. You know I love Mike. Mike mm-hmm. doesn't have five albums. He has three, three, three great, but five? We we can have that conversation later, <laughs> but <laughs> but for the for the sake of, for the sake of this sake conversation, of, I hear you. I, hear yeah, you. I mean, and I I'm not putting. I, you know, I can never. I yeah. try to put down Mike, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> just, I got. I got. I got. That's for troll purposes. I got you. No, seriously, it's just like no artist 
I mean, probably, I mean, Stevie Wonder had a lot of albums, so that's different. Prince had a lot of albums, so that's different. Yeah. But if if Mike is the bar, Kanye might be setting a new standard. Damn, so. In his own way, you know. So based on this conversation, I think I think you said this, like, Kanye is the biggest hip-hop artist, like. Oh, no, he is. There, there's no, there, there's no, Jay-Z is my man, but Lil Bro is bigger than him. Yeah. Damn. Just, just, all, just, just, just for what he done, what he's done for, for music. Yeah. Damn. This is cr- like, like I'm really like during this conversation, I'm really just sitting here thinking about like just everything from when Kanye came out to now. Like this, I've, I've, I've never. This was see, thought this, about this. This was a blast from this take back in 2011 when Watch the Throne came out. But in hindsight, it does kind of make sense. Mm-hmm. I said that. Jay Z was lashing himself onto Kanye oh. to make this album. Yeah. In hindsight, you can say that. Back then, it's kind of like, how dare you say that about Jay Z? And See, I, yeah, because I, I was one of the people that said that. I ain't gonna lie. I was one of the people that said that. But you said it from a malicious place. I said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like Kanye star power. Like Kanye star power in 2000, from 2010 to 11. Oh, it's unmatched. It's, right. It's, it's crazy. It's out of here. Damn. Think That's about this. Think, think, think about the music coalition and people like forget how big this was. Jay, Beyonce, Rihanna, Kanye. That 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 that, that forehead of monster is ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's crazy. But Kanye, Bro, fuck, really Kanye like, fuck Kanye fucked that up. He did. He did. He did. Damn, this is like I like I'm really. Like, I know people flabbergasted people, I, right now. Like this is crazy. I know. I know. Me and you having this conversation, but I hope the listeners are, you know, kind of taking heed to it. I, and I know I'm not the I'm not the first person to come up with this. So I'm not, you know, right. Yeah. That moment. But I just want people to like really sit there and think about it, and then we can have a conversation because yeah. exclude motion, exclude motion. Five, five, five albums that <laughs> you're not getting. You're not getting five great albums from too many people. And the and the cra- and the another crazy part about the five album thing is, in the midst of that, one of those wasn't even a rap album. Like I said, genre like, but you know what eight always did for music, so yeah. we gotta go there, right? Right, <laughs> so, right, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like for him to be able to pivot like that, because you got a uh, college dropout, late registration, and graduation. That's a you can call that a series. Yep, but to completely move from that and do something completely genre bending. Yep. And that shit influence hip like influence hip hop. Yep. Like that's that's crazy for it to work like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, think about your favorite artists. Just mm-hmm. it don't even have to be hip hop artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, think about your favorite artists and this is to the listeners like your favorite artists couldn't do that and the shit really work. Five and, five consecutive albums. Not he got 10 albums and every other album, you know what I'm saying? The three album run. No, five straight. I think Kanye probably is on album 10 by now. I'm, I might. crazy. But your first five? And he Damn. did that. Think about that. He did that in six years. <laughs> that shit is crazy. He that came out. College Dropout came out in 04. The last great Kanye album came out in 2010. That's six years. That's insane. That's no, that's that's crazy. That's okay, crazy. next, <laughs> next, <laughs> next. Week. Shit, we might only need to do like one more. Play. <laughs> right, hey, we man, can do I a got, part two. Shit. Right, right. Um, let me see. <clears throat> Who would be a good one? Let's talk about Nicki. Nicki Minaj, man. Let's let's okay. talk about a woman. A woman. Let's do it. Uh, Nicki. Oh, Nicki Minaj, man. I <sighs> listen, bro. Uh, let me ask you this. Okay, Nicki had Pink Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pink Friday, Roman's Revenge, or Reloaded, or something like that. I, the name escapes me. And then, then you had and the then, Deluxe. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then you then you had the Pink Print. Those are the three albums, right? Yeah. Now you have Queen, which we we talked about, which was like two years ago. Mm-hmm. So she has four albums. Now, now this is a ten year span where you know Nicki was out, undoubtedly the queen of hip hop, right? 2000, yeah. 2009, I mean, 2009, or you can say 2010 when the actual album came out, to 2020. 
Mm-hmm. That's her reign, right? Yeah. Do you think Nikki has anything left? So I, the answer to your question is no. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been really critical of Nicki Minaj. Um, so she she's she's a good artist. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate her contribution to to hip hop. Yeah. <clears throat> and I I I understand how she got to the place that she is. Yeah. Nicki was the queen the queen of hip hop in a time where there were no other mainstream women in hip hop. We have a slew of them now, which I'm I'm grateful to see. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. I'm I go back and forth and thinking if Nikki would have had the reign she did if there were other women in in mainstream hip hop during that same time. Not mm-hmm. saying she wouldn't still be a, a star, oh, mm-hmm. but I don't know if she would have been the mega star that she was. Well, you got it's a it's a lot that goes into this, right? Mm-hmm. Nikki is she she's very talented. She can mm-hmm. sing, she can rap, one hundred percent, extremely marketable, right? Yes. yes. So you got that going, but for her to be the only one, like I'm, I want to disagree with you so bad just for the sake of this conversation. But I don't see, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't uh, like Nikki would undoubtedly <laughs> still be a star, but would she have pivoted and start doing pop records? That's the baby. Yes. And I think that I think that's what you're what what we're kind of going with with the conversation because I don't think that she would have did Starships and shit like that. I don't think she would have did a song with Jesse J or you, you don't know, think so? I don't think she would have did as many pop features as she would have did. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you beefing with Miley Cyrus. Come on, my guy. Like, I mean, come on, my come on, my girl. Like, what we doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what we doing? How we doing this? Like <laughs> Man, I... but and this is the thing, right? Oh, I'm talking about somebody that has a <clears throat> 10 year run and no classic album. And see, and that's what I'm saying, like and that and that's why I say if there were other mainstream women in hip hop during that span, like I don't think she would be as big of a star as she was because you know, I think yeah, I she think, can she can you know, rap, but you know, you know what this is like when you don't have any competition. So you you take your foot off the gas when it comes to your best like putting your best material out there, right? And the guys, the 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 pool is oversaturated. No pun intended, right? The the pool is very oversaturated. So you better do something to make you work. Like to and Man. and if you want to stand out from the crowd, you better have this particular ad lib or the way that you rap. Like Nikki could spread herself so thin in ten years. I don't know if I want to hear another Nikki album when she, you know, when she's ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you know she just had the baby. Congrats to her. Yeah, her oh husband. yeah, one hundred. So you know all that great stuff. But do I want to hear Nick, a Nicki Minaj album after this? Probably not. Rap, let me tell you because she, excuse me, Queen was all right. Nicki Minaj's biggest biggest rap. I'm stick. I'm sticking to rap hip hop here, right? At for this part of the conversation, Nicki's biggest rap accomplishment was her monster verse. It wasn't even her song, and it was just a verse. Like, Nate, like what other rap, like, what other rap, just rap moment Listen. did Nikki have? Listen, that was 10 years ago. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. That's my point. What other rap, rap like, moment? Did it Nikki wasn't, have? like you said, it wasn't her song. It wasn't on her album. It was just a moment. It was a she, feature. The fact that she out rapped. Three of the hottest niggas at the, you know, or you know, two of the goats, you know, if you want to go there for it too, on the track. But it's just Nikki had a, I don't know, man. I love. It's like I love the idea of Nikki. I may not love every song that she does, but I just felt like she could have done so. I she could have done so much better, but I can hear people coming, you know, countering that with the look at the success look at the money look at the you know the chart position. she didn't have a choice there was no other women like that's what i'm that's what i'm trying to say if we mm-hmm. speak if we speak in just spe- uh, specifically rap here mm-hmm. like there was no competition for Nicki minaj and Nicki doesn't have like i mean she's awarded and things like that but she even came out recently uh just in still kind of crying about a grammy snub a few years ago so you know why because her 
albums and songs aren't that good. They're not really. Like, so that's what I'm saying. To me, to me, like, and I could be completely off base, but when I try to listen to Nicki Minaj albums, it's kind of like listening to Drake albums. You get three to four songs you fuck with, and then everything else is just, eh. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I, I want to, I want to be able to give Nicki more, more flowers when it comes to when it comes to rap. Flowers. Yes, like I will never, I will never be able to take away her accolades, everything she's accomplished, like. Much success, much success to the queen. Yep. But if we really, de- if we digging into like the 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 music itself, mm-hmm. it's not really, it's not that good. Yeah, like she, like this is the thing. You benefit from an era where you don't necessarily have to make a strong project. Some people can argue about the projects, but in my opinion, they're not that strong in comparison to what I can get, you know, other places. And you know her counterpart, which is Aubrey, right? Mm-hmm. He has, I think, he has stronger projects than Nikki, but he has more of them too. Yeah. Nikki, yeah. Nikki, Nikki took her time to give us the mediocre. Like at least Drake, you know. <laughs> 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 also, facts, and she also repackaged the first album like three times. Like, don't give me a deluxe and a reloaded. Like, what, what we doing? What we doing? Two more. Hey man, Starship's got to go somewhere on this album, so I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> I keep saying Starships, but Starships is horrible, man. It's a super bass, super bass, boom, 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 boom. Okay, come on, man. Like I, Nikki got Nikki got bops, but we sitting here talking about an album now. Nah, my guy, nah. See, like seriously though, like she she does Nikki, have singles. Nikki, Nikki got singles. She got she got bops. She she got a feature verse here and there you fuck with, but we listen, talking about the overall all bodies of work like, and on, and and it's it's crazy to sit here and say that a rapper as big as Nicki Minaj has a shelf life. Now I'm saying this: it's kind of like our arguments with Wayne and our arguments with Eminem. Nicki Minaj can come out here and rap still. I'm pretty sure of that. But do you think it's gonna hold up, especially with you know Nicki's gonna do her numbers, but it's kind of like. Is it gonna hold up with the the Cardis, the Megs, the the Lottos of the world, the the Rhapsodies? You know, shout out to the Queens. It's just like the pool is deeper now. And the thing mm-hmm. about the newer women rappers now, um, content aside, they're actually rapping. Like, yeah, we, it's, we, no, we, it's no, we, it's no, it's no too many like singing songs. Yeah, people. like we we may we may get a song or two where they want to be melodic. Which is cool, but we talking. They are rapping, rapping, like they rapping about what they rapping about. But they're rapping is the point. Ain't a, it's not a bunch of extra voices and let me talk to myself and all that type of shit. Like, <laughs> I get that. I like that because yeah, like even if you go down to like the other, like you know, it's a slew of women MCs that I haven't named, but mm-hmm. I can't think of anybody that's doing the what Nicki Minaj was trying to do. Yeah. The only person that's honestly trying to do that is Cardi. And I'm not saying she's trying to do that. Mm-hmm. That's just because she's in a commercial lane like a Nicki Minaj. Yeah, right, right. So she might, you know, you know, get a singy song rap type of thing going. Yeah. And what's crazy is Cardi, I don't know what's happening with her second mm-hmm. album, but Cardi was on a trajectory to be the next Nicki Minaj, I feel like, with a, with a good album. With a, gr- a Grammy nominated album, a Grammy winning album, then she won. She won. Oh, sh- there you go. Yeah, we talked. We we talked about that before. I, no, I, I, she I forget. Had, she actually won for uh, Invasion of Privacy, which is which is crazy. So like yeah. she was she was headed that way, and I I think it's kind of I think her time I, I think Cardi B's time has passed, but we'll see. We shall okay. see. Court, I, well, uh, yeah, I think I think it's hell, man. You gave us short self life, bro. Because I, listen, no. I, Okay, let's just say pandemic over, everything opened up in 2021. Cardi put out an album. You really think it's going to go like her first one did? And it's not even thinking about a sophomore slump. This is just in general. Nah, I mean, let's she go sit on WAP and do the cheat code stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let the, you know, that bump up sales. She, but if this, if this is going to be a good album, well, this is the thing. It's kind of, it's hard judging this, right? Because I know in hindsight, we're judging Kanye West as an artist, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess that's how we would have to judge Cardi because Cardi is known for not writing completely her whole songs. Mm-hmm. So I don't think the powers that be will let Cardi have a bad project. And from what I've seen, 
Sparty has a good ear and a good team of people around her. Because I don't think I really heard like a, a Cardi song like this ain't it. You you like the money song? A money was cool. Okay. It was cool. Like I I, I don't think it, it wasn't like this ain't it. Okay, got you, got you. Like I mean, like, I, I fuck with, I fuck with it too. So no, nah, I fuck with money. It's kind of we gonna switch topics real quick, but I'm gonna throw this out there. It's not it's not like she's having the issue that Meg is having. Okay, got you. Like Meg Meg still ain't hit nothing yet. Like you know she she drops she drops the single here and there. Like Savage went up, but that's because of. And it's not because of the fucking remix with Beyonce. I'm not even saying that. Like the song went up because it's just Meg TikTok. And, and TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a de- it was a good song for what it was. But and that's a that's another conversation. But that's a, that and that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't want to get too far off in the Meg stuff. Yeah. But I'm just I'm letting the listeners always know I'm not really feeling good news, and we'll leave it there. I haven't, I haven't even listened to it yet. Man. Like I, I'm I'm going to get to it. I just I don't have desire to go listen to it. That body, that body song really deterred me, bro. Like, it's not, it's a, it's not a good song. Like, we want, like, this is the thing, and I guess why, I, see, this is why I hate talking about women rappers, right? Because when you talk about them in the same critique fashion that you do other MCs, it seems it's like you're, issue. some people will say that you're woman bash. I'm not saying the listeners of OS are like that, because, you know, our listeners understand us. Yeah. You know, they understand us. They, they. If you've been listening to OS for a while, you know what me and Johnny get down with. Exactly. You know what we like. You know how this thing goes. So it's not that we are bashing a woman because we don't like the music. It's just that the music's not that good. Because, because uh, you can make you can make songs women want to shake their ass to. But you can make them good. Like you can make a good song like that. Yeah, and it's not. And it's not even like the content. Like you know, guys like, oh, you know, grab a dick and all that. I don't want to do that. Well, you hear it when you know. You hear it when you know. And I'm not saying the guys rap about that, but just the inverse of that. Like you're yeah. comfortable with hearing that then. So if it rap and it sound good, it sound good. Like That's I don't. The, I don't that, care. But I don't care about like the content. It's like, do it sound good? Yeah. Yeah, man. I. Yeah. Sheesh, man. This, I mean, hey, this was oh, we all have to do a part two because this was fun. <laughs> I I really enjoyed this conversation. Oh, we had a we had a, a list of another list of, of rappers that we can get into, but you know, for the time's sake, we want our listeners to just kind of leave on this high note and enjoy this episode. You know what I'm saying? We had fun with this though. One hundred percent. We're not gonna get too many of these this year. This might be what we got one more. We got Maybe. one one what? more, one more episode for 2020. It'll be our uh, our year end wrap up and yeah, man, yeah, man. We got we got we, some we, things in store. Yeah, we gotta take a break, man. We got like I think we've been very, very consistent in the quarantine and then you know COVID season and whatnot. Like mm-hmm. you know, I've experienced things. Johnny's experienced things. Like you know, you know, it, it's it's been a lot. And you know, just give us some time to kind of reset, retool. Uh, we'll be back in 2021. It'll be February though, but you know, we'll we'll be back. We'll you know we'll we'll uh we'll tweet we'll, out uh, old episodes for y'all to catch up on. Yeah, some read, some some of our favorites. Or or we retool them. Hey man, you hey, we'll, you'll we'll still get up. you'll still get content from the boys, and then you know we'll probably be dropping um the the breaking the wire footage. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, I'm I'm in the process of editing to editing it. Uh, it's it's a lot. It's like, oh, no, I'm already like 10 hours worth of footage. So. Oh, I'm already knowing. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going we gonna to put that on YouTube, hopefully no, before man. the end of the year. That was some, that was some in-depth conversations. But now, man, we, we appreciate the people, like, even listening to that content, even if you don't fuck with The Wire or Breaking Bad. Yeah. Like, you just fuck with us. Like, you just listen to what we had to say about it. So, Thanks. now, especially Flaw. Flaw been cussing us out every day. On right. The <laughs> <laughs> like, forget all that Breaking Bad. <laughs> Breaking right. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, shout out, to, shout out to Flaw, man. And, oh, man, let me, uh, I guess while we're here, man, let me shout out uh, two people in particular. particular. Uh, mm-hmm. Manny from um, Any Given Sunday, if you listen to this, happy birthday, bro. Oh, and then not yeah, not to mention, uh, you know, one of our, our great listeners and supporters and my my brother, uh, Jordan. It's his birthday. Captain of the EBG, you know, he he's butt. So, you know, I just want <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. He's, he's butt. Like, <laughs> but now nah, shout out to you, bro. And uh happy birthday, man. Shout out to Manny and Jordan, man. Yes, we doing shout out. I want to shout yeah. out my sister, man. Oh, shout okay. out to Lena. Um the day we dropped is December third, she's turning thirty. Okay, that's what's up. Happy that's birthday, crazy. Lena. That's Happy crazy. birthday, Lena. 
That's crazy. Thirty. My guy. Hey man, people get old out here, man. That, that's what it made. That's what it make you feel like. Oh man, you know? <laughs> my little my little sister, man. I love you. Uh, I'm I'm proud of the woman you've become. Uh, happy thirtieth, yep, yep. all that good stuff. That's crazy, man. Yep, yep. 30. That's crazy. <laughs> I know, man. But nah, man. That was episode 91. Yes. Uh, we yeah. appreciate y'all for getting this far. And yeah, if you made it this far, make sure you like, comment, comment, share, you know, rate all that great stuff. All Apple Podcasts, you know what to do. Facts. And uh, yeah, episode 91, and we out. Chill. Peace.